Well, now to the day's other big story, the war in Ukraine. President Biden called for more money and military aid for Ukraine as he toured a factory that's producing Javelin anti-tank missiles. Those weapons have proved critical in Ukraine's battle on the front lines. On the ground in Ukraine, Russian forces launched a full-scale attack on a steel plant in the city of Mariupol. Some civilians have evacuated in recent days, but hundreds remain trapped inside. CBS's Charlie Daggett is in eastern Ukraine. Russian forces unleashed yet another assault on the steel plant in Mariupol, despite the promise of safe passage to those remaining trapped inside. A reckless disregard for human life in cities across the south and the east, where they've been trying to overrun the frontline town of Lysychansk for weeks as we arrived. An artillery barrage echoed through deserted streets, with the Russians now less than three miles away, only a handful of mostly elderly residents remain. This crater is the result of a Russian airstrike that landed on the doorstep of this apartment block, even as people were sheltering in that basement. Residents gather water from a ruptured pipe. To get Vladimir said he can't leave because his 84-year-old mother is unable to travel. His neighbor, Ludmilla, described explosions through the night, sending shards of glass flying. People who were able to have left, she said. Those with kids, we, the old ones, are staying here. Doesn't that worry you when you hear that sound? I kind of got used to it, she said. I came here for water. What can I do? Despite Russia's tactics to bombard from a distance, its ground forces have so far made only modest gains. It's because they won't fight toe-to-toe -to -toe with Ukrainian soldiers, Special Forces Major Alexander told us. They're just burning everything to the ground, he said. Yet he and his men remain determined to hold their ground. Charlie Daggett of CBS News, Lysychansk, Eastern Ukraine.